our next presenter is Dr. Po Wei Ji, Duke and US Medical School, for breaking the wall of lengthy, costly medicine in vaccine and development. Two weeks ago, there was a Zika virus cluster reported less than 15 kilometers from here. Because the infection can cause severe brain defects in newborns, can you imagine how helpless pregnant mothers feel when the only way to protect your baby is to not get bitten by a mosquito? That's because we do not have a vaccine for Zika and many other re-emerging diseases. Standing in the way is the wall of lengthy, costly vaccine development. On average, it takes 10 years, $2.6 billion for drug development. And that factors in a dismal success rate even at the late stages. 70% are still attributed to a lack of safety and effectiveness. Now, vaccine development often begins with multiple rounds of viral infection in cell cultures that can take months, even years. And then you select for your candidates based largely on a physical attribute, the size of the plaque. Moving into clinical trials, you start looking at how fast it clears from the body as well as drug reactions that can range from low to high-grade fever, body aches, which can take weeks and months to develop and are highly subjective. We can do better than guesswork. So we've combined our expertise in clinical and experimental research, conducted a groundbreaking clinical study where we administered a vaccine to healthy individuals, noted down your usual co clinical correlates. But this time around, we collected sequential samples of blood at, at different time points that allows us to study the changes in gene expression, signaling molecules, cell metabolites that underlie our body's responses to vaccines. By correlating this to our clinical outcomes, we now have a molecular toolkit for what makes a vaccine safe and effective. So instead of months and years, we have already developed a safe, potent Zika vaccine candidate in six weeks. Because we can incorporate the same objective molecular correlates into our clinical trials, we are able to reduce your patient availability. And just this year, we've completed a study with clinical proof of safety and efficacy in just six months. So because we can start off with higher quality candidates and this day risking pathway, we have a better success rates that means cost savings in the hundreds and millions of dollars. Today, the cost, the amount of venture capital and biotech R&D into vaccines lags far behind other medicines. Yet vaccines are by far the most cost-effective medical tools ever invented. They are responsible for eradicating diseases. So by speeding up and lowering the cost of vaccine development, let's reverse this trend because no one should ever suffer from a disease that can be prevented. Thank you. Can I ask you, is the key, is the key of your, your um, breakthrough about the changes in yes. the, the cells or something? The responses of the human body. So instead of looking at your, your lab animal models, we are looking at how the entire human body, how your immune system responds to it. And we can do this for we have we are doing can do this for other diseases too. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Hello.